The Indian Air Force has dispatched its Sarang helicopter display team to Egypt to participate in the first edition of the Egypt International Air Show. Russia is increasing the production rate of its Su-57 fifth generation fighter jet with its new facilities at NAS aviation plant. Indian Air Force has inducted several units of mobile anti-armed decoy system developed by Indian firm Bumi Entech that generates radar frequency footprint to divert the enemy missile from attacking the Indian radar systems. The RDO and LNT developed 15-ton composite infantry combat vehicle has completed internal trials that aims to replace the legacy BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles. The Indian government has approved funds for establishing an AL-31 test bed that will advance the substitution of critical components with superior Indian-made alternatives. National Aerospace Laboratories has floated a request for proposal for joint collaboration in development manufacturing and commercialization of loitering munitions that will have a range of 900 kilometers and carry 15 kilograms of warhead. Amidst interest to procure six Nilgiri class frigates, a Brazilian delegation led by commander of Brazilian Navy visited Mazagin dock ship builders, and they visited an under construction warship and submarine facilities. Brahmos Aerospace has achieved a significant milestone of 70% level of indigenization in the production of the Brahmos supersonic cruise missile. Marine Electricals has signed MOU with Cummins India to locally manufacture pumps for Indian Navy warships. Indian made ammunition is gaining significant popularity in the US civilian market, mainly due to the supply gap created due to the discontinuation of Russian ammo supplies. During a meeting between Defense Minister Rajnath Singh and U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin at Pentagon, India and United States have agreed to advance priority co-production projects, such as the F-414 engine to power Tejas Mark II aircraft, joint production of striker armored infantry combat vehicles and co-development of future variants, as well as 31 MQ-9B drones and munitions under the U.S. India Roadmap for Defense Industrial Cooperation. India and US are currently working out details of the striker program, and reports indicate that while initial discussions centered around 350 units, the army is now considering around 530 units to equip 10 battalions. Along with the C-130J offer under medium transport aircraft program, Lockheed Martin has offered a highly specialized variant of its C-130J SOF variant, that will be tailored specifically for special forces. Apart from airdrop resupply combat search and rescue infiltration, the specialized variant can be transformed into a formidable combat platform by equipping it with a 30mm cannon and Hellfire precision guided missiles to provide close air support and armed reconnaissance. It will feature enhanced defensive countermeasures, aerial refueling capability, directional infrared countermeasure defensive system, armor protection system, advanced sensors and night vision capabilities. After completing a series of captive trials, separation tests, guided tests and unguided dual pulse motor tests at various ranges, the Astra Mark II missile is now all set to start large-scale trials against target drones. After the success of these trials, the Astra Mark II will be cleared for integration with a wide range of fighter jets, including the Su-30 Tejas Mark I-A Tejas Mark II Rafil and AMCA. There are reports that the Brazilian Air Force is also exploring the possibility of equipping its Gripen fighters with 110 km range Astra Mark I missiles as a cost-effective option, and it has also sparked interest in several countries, due to its superiority over the Russian R-77 missile, and its compatibility with Russian-made aircraft. Today's Top 3 Comments 